I said it yesterday, it's concerning what's going on in Campi Fligri right now with this ongoing rattling and earthquake swarm. Yeah, they declared the swarm ended again, but now they said it's a new swarm. And as I unfortunately predicted, the magnitudes are going up. We just had a 2.5. We'll get to that. But um, I want to tell you what the director of the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology in Naples just said in an interview. He describes the supervolcano and he reminds us all about the eruption 39,000 years ago when Campi Flegri had a gigantic eruption. This supervolcano shot 72 cubic miles, cubic miles of molten rock out in the atmosphere and the global temperatures plummeted and the entire region of Europe and even Russia were covered in volcanic ash. What he says is that scientists expect that if an eruption will happen today, it would not be on that huge scale, but it could still be massive. In fact, Campi Flegri is considered, and this is interesting, is considered as a national threat by the Italian government. Do you have the feeling that this is being treated as a national threat? Or do you have the feeling that kind of they're trying to whitewash this, the risk, despite all these scientists giving dire warnings? But this is kind of an insider knowledge. The Italian government considers this as a national threat. It can be an international, global threat as well, and it has been in the past. And then he further said it could, even if it's a small eruption, stop air travel across Europe and even other parts around the world. And what makes this volcano even more dangerous is that today hundreds of thousands of people live on the volcano. This is what he says, and they live right on it in this eight mile wide crater. So roughly at least half a million people are in the red zone of this volcano, an area where the authorities are saying um, it would have to be evacuated for people to survive an eruption. 500,000 people in these old narrow streets of Pozzuoli. Pozzuoli is that area that gets the most epicenters that will be mostly affected because they're right on the volcano. So that's why the Institute surveils this volcano every day every night, every grumble, every tremor. And Campi Flegri causes the most concern. And even in the Vesuvius Observatory and in the INGV, they have all their monitors, they have all their screens, they're watching this all the time. They have alarms going off if there's a new earthquake storm, if there's an earthquake happening. And uh, basically these days, this is happening continuously. They're having this alarm going off. It's beeping in there basically continuously. We had, you have to, Understand, last year, we had 2,500 earthquakes in only one month. And we had a similar event this February where it was even worse. The problem is these earthquakes are getting stronger. The pressure is building up in this volcano. This year, we had the strongest two magnitudes, 4.6. That is enough to crack walls of houses and send people fleeing from their homes. And just a few days ago, there was a 3.3. And now reports are coming out that homes did crack and that they have been damaged because they're constantly shaking. It's constantly shaking these foundations of these old Masonry homes. Also in Naples, greater Naples area, more than six million people. So and while this shaking is happening, the ground is swelling, it's rising, it's slowly rising up beneath the people's feet. And we see a clear example in the port of Pozzuoli. It's an old city port that is basically dry. There's no water in it anymore. Boats are nestling in the grass, so to speak, where there used to be water. Now they're basically marooned on land. Yeah, this is an inlet of the sea. There's water. But basically what was happening 
the ground has risen so high that it's blocking the water from entering this inlet, this port. And what the director says, and this should kind of be in our heads, is one thing that you learn very soon is that we do not have control. Nature has the control. This shows the unpredictability of this thing. So look at the current list of earthquakes. While I'm recording this video, we just had a 2.1. This is on October 12th, 2.1, 1.5, 2.5, 1 1.8. And then on the 11th, you, you see the big list of earthquakes, everything on the 11th. And then you see what's happening on the 10th. And then I even have to go to the next page. Then you see lots of earthquakes on the 10th with a magnitude 3.3. So if you see this list, do you see an end and the beginning of a new swarm? To me, this is continuous. And there's also comments from locals. They said, well, basically, they're now saying the same that I've been saying for a very long time. This is BS calling it. It ended and then two hours later, the next swarm started. This is just trying to calm down the minds. And now the residents are saying, well, why don't you just make an announcement only when there is no earthquake? Right? Because basically there are earthquakes continuously. So look at the 3.3 and then on the 10th, so many earthquakes in the higher ranges. 1.8, 2.2, 2.2, 2.0, 1.9, 2.4, 2.0, 1.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, 
sometimes when the earth shakes here, it feels like the volcano is right underneath my feet. And it's kind of ironic because the resident who said that she's an artist and she paints pictures of volcanic eruptions uh, and gigantic ash blooms. So it's kind of <laughs> ironic, I guess. And this year is going to be a record year already when it comes to earthquakes. The INGV has lo already located close to 5,000 earthquakes this year. So not only the number of earthquakes increases, the magnitudes are going up, the gas emissions are going up, the pressure is building up. Total energy, a cumulative, cumulative energy released by these earthquakes is going up. So the situation is not easing, it's the opposite. It's becoming increasingly tense and the risk of catastrophic events is continuously increasing. And again, as I said, I'm showing you this, these notifications over the last few hours. Swarm has ended, swarm has begun. We want to notify you there's an earthquake of this magnitude, there's an earthquake of this magnitude. So this keeps going. I really think they should say, well, we're in a continuous phase of earthquakes and it's probably going to last. Uh, for the coming days, weeks, months, whatever. So we will inform you about the bigger earthquakes and or we will give you every few hours a new list of earthquakes, give you an update. But I think really they can waive these notifications as ha it has ended and then the next one comes. And if, if I look at comments from from locals that they say, well, so yeah, no, what do you want to say? We felt it, <laughs> the Italians, I just love how they were, thanks. We felt our fat being shaken. <laughs> so are we deaf or are we stupid, right? What do you want to tell us with these notifications? Can you for once make a real communication with us? That That's what they're saying, right? You're just talking BS. Are we going to do the school building inspections now for safety after these earthquakes? Are we going to remove building sites? Yeah, they still want to have new construction in the caldera, which is crazy. They want to build a hotel right at the Solfatara crater. So, and then they say, well, shall we clear the streets? What, what, should, what are we going to do? And uh, any assistance yet? They're, they're asking no, right? Um, and then another, and this is concerning, I've reported about this too, another local said, well, despite the fact that we're living in a constant emergency, they have closed two vital streets due to organizational deficiencies. Uh, and now, you know, where should we go in an emergency if the streets are closed? They're calling for the re uh, resignation of the mayor. I say, mayor, you know, beginning of swarm, end of swarm. How often do you want to tell us? When do you start your role and finish all the tasks that you need to do? So not a comfortable situation in Pozzoli in Italy right now. Unfortunately, guys, I will keep you updated. In the meantime, there are a lot of things going on. For example, on the West Coast, my latest West Coast videos, we have a monstrosity of an underwater volcano larger than a city that is about to go off any time now and they will catch it on camera because they have surveillance there. And we already have new videos of how it looks down there with the Fuma and everything stunning underwater pictures um, check the link in the end screen off the coast of Oregon and then we have a threat to California super sheer earthquakes crazy also here in the end screen and then we have an even bigger monstrosity of a threat for the whole west coast something nobody had on the map we're talking about the san andreas fault we're talking about the cascadia fault but nobody ever knew that there is a connection and that could be the biggest devastation that canada and california and the u.s have ever ever experienced in their lifetime because there's not going to be anyone who can help because everything will be doomed link is here in the end screen as well i see you in a second if you want to support this channel link is in the description buymeacoffee.com slash filky Thanks for everyone who's doing this or has been doing this to support the channel, guys. You're absolutely awesome. I'm drinking a lot of coffee to make all these videos, so I'm very, very grateful for you, for my members, for your supers, for you being here. You're an awesome community. That's why if you haven't subscribed yet, join us. 
Let's have fun together. Fun, fun. Let's enjoy the conversations that we have. The topics are often not fun. They're very, very sad. And our hearts go out to everyone that's affected by these disasters. Love and prayer to everyone. And I see you in a second if you click here. Bye-bye.